Hi students, welcome back. Time to move on to the next phase of our journey. In this part, we are going to study about the chord, which is the second most important topic after tangents and normal. In this part, we are going to learn about different forms of chord. You will again see the importance of parametric form. And we will also see some important results which are combined using tangents, normals and chords. So, let's start with the part. So, starting with the definition of the chord, the line joining any two points of the parabola is called its chord. Okay. So, in this, I have mentioned the one, two major important lines when we are talking about the parabola and lines. One was, uh, three lines have drawn. So, this we have already discussed many properties. Still, we will discuss some more about this. And this one we are taking now, the part of it, a chord. Okay. So, line joining so you can take any two points on the parabola and join them so that will be a chord okay so now for getting the equation of chord again it's not uh, that difficult basic knowledge of straight line is required so what we need to do uh, we know two points as a t1 square 2 a t1 and a t2 2 a t2 okay so slope will be slope from this will be uh, twice of a t1 minus t2 upon uh, if I subtract a into t1 this we have already done something like this equation uh, slope of a chord okay so in that case that was uh, normal so it was more easier uh, additional property but this this is done basically the slope of a chord. Any chord if you are finding slope will be given by t1 plus t2 and now you know that you are having two points you can find the equation. So if I simplify it for you uh, this will be minus if I take suppose this point. So this will be t1 to a t1 will be equal to this is the slope t1 plus t2 and this will be equal into x minus a t1 square. So on solving this I am sure you will get equation like this ok. Now again we will have this is this is any general chord means this this chord has like we have taken nothing into consideration the only point we have considered is that this is the equation of a a line which is for which the two points are lying on the parabola. Now what is the focal chord as you can see here in the board? So anything, any chord which passes through the focus, suppose this is the focus. So if this passes through the focus, then this is known as focal chord. Okay. Again, uh, from when it we know that for parabola we are solving with respect to parabola y square equal to 4x. We have taken every parameter with respect to that. So when we are solving that we know that the focus of this will lie on a comma 0. So this will clearly be passing through a comma 0 if it's a focal chord. So when you will uh, substitute the values now this is the condition. I will highlight in uh, some other color so that you can remember it for your reference. So, this is the condition of focal chord, means a chord becoming a focal chord, the other side where it will intersect again that will be. So, what we have learnt that if, if a chord is a normal, like uh, always, obviously normal will be a chord uh, if, 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 if we are drawing a tangent and if we are like making a normal. So, for that we know that we studied that if for any normal, okay the condition was minus t1 minus 2 by t1. Now for this case if it's a focal chord means passing through the focus this s then the condition is that this parameter will be a by uh, t1 square and this will be minus 2 a t1. So these are the two extreme points very important result. Again we can see another term here which is known as chord of contact and what is that? So from any external point if we draw two tangents to a parabola suppose like this. So if we join the two points of intersection this is known as chord of contact. So chord of contact basically from any chord you can draw two tangents why because it will intersect at two points and these two points obviously you will 
you can see that you can find two uh, tangents and see whether they will meet or not and if they meet then this chord will form the uh, chord of contact so we have discussed important lines uh, till now uh, tangents chord so you just need to uh, concentrate on the conditions that uh, the definition and the basic concepts you can consider any line and based on whatever the definitions of these lie you can find so tangent is most easier to remember and then from tangent if we are very clear about the tangent we don't need to worry about the normal at any time we can uh, like draw the conditions for normal for chord very important we can take two points in the parametric form now here you can see that while we are studying all these lines we are always taking points in parametric form now if there were four variables it would have very difficult then we have to back substitute we have to use these two relations plus y square equal to 4x now in parametric form we have already make sure that we have used this condition so we have avoided basically two steps in general